The Minecraft guides recommend using an enchantment table to enchant diamond armor with fire protection before going to the net. <laughs> this is my enchantment table. Yeah, um, I, I never use it. Because we have these guys. And although we all hate working with them... Come on, just get in the boat! <sighs> they are very useful. N no, n not you. No one is talking about you. But I want to give the enchantment table some love again, which is why I decided to build a giant version of it. And by giant, I mean giant. Let's just throw in a potato for reference. And on the inside, I built the world's first fully working Minecraft library filled with every enchanted book I will ever need. All sorted and labeled. Usually, if you build any block of the game in big, you place a block for every single pixel of the texture. I'll use four blocks for every single pixel. And right here seems to be a good spot to build it. So let's just quickly set up our reference, which I actually built wrong. Get some dirt and make the outlines first. Yeah, that's massive. But looks like we have to do some terraforming right here. So let's just start by removing some of the trees first. And... Well, that worked actually better than expected. Time for round two. All right, no more TNT left. Time to do some manual terraforming. Okay, let's just not talk about the fact that this took me two hours. But for now, I'm done terraforming. Time to get some materials. Now due to this absolutely massive size, we need a lot of wood. Which means I'll spend a lot of aid playing at the tree farm. But that's just for these wood types. For the dark oak, I have to go farm manually or build another tree farm. Since my current one can't handle dark oak. But to AFK the tree farm for some hours, we need tons of bone meal. Now luckily, I got this with a skeleton farm. So let's just quickly set up a sorting system and AFK here for some hours. Alright, it's been a couple hours and hopefully we have enough. Yeah, that's definitely enough. I hope it's enough to go AFK for a couple of hours and get all the wood we need. And let's first get all the bone into some shaker boxes. Now if that's not enough bone meal, I don't know what is. Uh, let's get back home. I just spent 20 minutes crafting bone meal. I mean, look at that. That's a bunch of chests. Anyways, let's just start with the oak. Then oak is the wood we need the most of. Turn on the farm. And let's go. Now I spent about 2-3 to three hours to get the 30k oak wood from the tree farm. And when I put it all into the shulker boxes, a creeper almost made this 3 hours useless. But with the oak wood now collected, I did the same for the birch wood with AFKing for about one and a half hours and an additional hour for the spruce wood. And after I had all the spruce, I packed the sharkers, brought them to the project and grabbed the sharkers for the 15k darko, which I had to go chop manually. But 15k ain't much, right? Let's get to work. Okay, maybe 15k is a bit much. Oh, I'm just a lazy piece of shit. Maybe let me know in the comments if you would mind 15k wood by hand. But I'm going to get some materials now to build an automatic farm. Starting off with some white concrete, for which I had to replace the sand at the sand duper, AFK for just a few minutes, and use my concrete converter to turn it into concrete. Also some crying obsidian from the bartering farm, some glass, and a bunch of other stuff. Alright, we're just missing the one ancient breeze, and I'm pretty sure probably in here. Yeah, there we go, look at that. There's just one ancient debris in here, nice. Let's build this tree farm right next to our concrete converter. Alright, this farm is almost done. We just need to do a few more steps. First of all, the TNT dupers need some TNT. And we have to do some weird um, hopper lineups right here, I guess. 
Let's first get the ancient debris. First, we need first we need a wall right here. Whoops, they meant to place two. Okay, that one is gone. A rail with a hopper mine card, which is pushed right up against that wall. Break the wall as well, and then we need to push down two blocks. Here we go. Now we need two anvils right there. Get some rails again. Two hopper mine cuts again, which needs to be pushed right up against that. Anvils, remove the rails, and then drop two anvils like that. And right here, we also need a mine cart. And one more anvil. We don't need the anvil right there. And right here, we need the ancient debris. Now everything should be set can remove these walls for the water same on the other side and place the water right here and right there so this farm is working oh yeah wait i forgot we need uh, some bone meal for this farm to work wait don't i have ha look at that time to test this farm okay it's looking good and there we go all right, so I've somehow ran out of saplings. Let's quickly get into free cam. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, looks like I missed uh, a water bucket right here. Let me quickly fix that and then run the farm again. And this one row of bone actually got me all the dark oak I need. All right. I probably have like 50 hours of building in front of me. Not because I have to place so much wood, but I also have to strip it all. So yeah, um, let's uh, get to work and build this first bookshelf. Well, I'm gonna be doing this for quite some hours. I'm two hours in and I just got Two of these done and as you can see I made them somewhat like three-dimensional because with builds at that scale you can't just build flat surfaces yeah I had to repair my axe twice for this and I already have to repair it again so let's just quickly do that and then hop into some more hours finishing off the first layer so let's go Yep, I definitely haven't built something even half this big ever. This is fucking huge. And I don't even know what to do in the inside yet. Maybe let me know in the comments. But yeah, I don't know what else to do, but just keep going. Let's just roll the 3D printer and build the second layer of the bookshelves. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hey ho, editing potato here. Now I was going to make this time lapse look like it's getting 3D printed, but after my axe was almost broken again, I paused the recording and when I came back from repairing my axe, I forgot to resume recording until I noticed. So the time lapse looks like this now. Phew, I hope the time lapse did look good anyways since I forgot to press resume recording. And yep, I've also lost my netherite axe, since after a couple of hours of placing and stripping locks, my brain wasn't paying attention at the durability of my axe. But oh boy, this thing is absolutely massive. So let's just quickly remove all that leftover dirt, so it looks good when I do this. Oh, and I used my armor trim factory I built last episode to turn my new axe into netherite again. Make sure to watch the video if you haven't already. Obviously, after you finished watching this one. Now, you definitely noticed the bookshelves are missing the books. Yeah, no sh Sherlock! But what you may not notice is that I'm using a texture pack which changes the bookshelf's textures to more variety. 
So I first searched a nice pattern for the build and made the list of all the colors I need. And then simply had to get at least two of each color in concrete powder so I can dupe it at the end portal. And then AFK'd for, well, I don't remember how long I AFK'd here, but I definitely AFK'd for long enough. I also made sure to mine obsidian while being AFK, since I will need a lot of obsidian later for the actual enchantment table. Funny how they somewhat sorted in these chests, but let's just get all these over to the concrete converter. Okay, right as I was about to start building the books, I realized I forgot about one color. Alright, let's roll a beat sync and start building the books. Let's do something different for this one. And let's do the same a little faster for the rest. Alright, bookshelves are done and looking absolutely sick. We are just missing the enchantment table in the middle and the build is almost complete. But there's also lots of work to do around the build and I don't even want to think about how long this part will take. There's a lot of terraforming to do right here at the water. So time to grab my shovel and get tons of grass. Since my grass chest is... yeah... empty. Oh no. So let's not waste any time and get some shulkers full with grass. I hope that's enough to start with, so let's just get into it and start terraforming. And while terraforming, I had an idea. I just had the idea to start speaking German in my videos. I mean, not the whole video, just a little. Maybe add some German class segment into my videos in which I teach you some German. Overall, it was you who started calling me the German potato. And I feel like a little more German than just my accent would fit my videos. Viele von meinen deutschen Zuschauer denken so, weil ich habe einen Akzent im Deutschen. Was mich wundert, Deutsch ist meine Muttersprache. But let's just quickly finish this off and then we can finally start building the enchantment table in the middle. Alright, let's go and grab all the materials we need for the actual enchantment table we're going to build right here. Starting with about 2k of obsidian, which we got from the early AFK session. Some red and silver concrete, light blue and red wool, orange and red terracotta, smooth quartz blocks, light blue concrete and 38 blocks of gold. Let's build that thing. And as you can see, I also made it just a little three-dimensional. Now what's left is the book on top. But hear me out, this was the first time I designed something three-dimensional, which is also angled in two directions. So please don't judge how this book turned out. But let's just build it first. Alright, this looks... Uh, this looks... actually pretty good. But you know what's not looking good? The backside of all this. Look at that. That's a bunch of wood, and we just have to pray that there won't strike a single lightning. Otherwise, I'm fine. Now you probably think, what's the purpose of this absolutely way too big and over the top big Chungo's massive sized enchantment table? What? Well, at first I had none, but then I heard about the experimental snapshots in which villager trading has been updated making certain villagers only trade certain enchantments. So I thought, before that actually happens, if it happens, I'll build a library inside the enchantment table stored with tons and tons of enchanted books. Yeah, so let's do that. So first of all, we need an entrance to the library. Oh, yeah, that, that's not good, but nothing some good old torches can't fix. And since I want this library to be circular, let's get the shape down first and then build up all the walls. The floor would be good too. Alright, now I want some platforms like I did with the spruce on the floor right here for this library. So let's just quickly figure out the design for that. All 
All right, I'm liking that. Now we also need some stairs, obviously. There we go. And also some stairs to go up to the next floor. That should do. All right, let's repeat that, I think, two more times. But this time a little quicker. Yep, genau so habe ich es mir vorgestellt. But now we need a library, isn't a library without bookshelves. Why is it called chiseled bookshelves? That's an empty bookshelf. We, we need a bunch of these. Alright, we got a few now. Let's get some spruce locks again. Time to place these empty bookshelves. There we go. And I've also changed the torches with some lanterns. But oh boy, where have I got myself into? This is so many enchanted books I have to get. And enchanted books aren't even stackable. Oh god, that's with so viel Arbeit. But yeah, the basic plan is to make like segments. So for example, this part is going to be the mending section. And yeah, I also have to get some hanging signs and maybe also some item frames. But to start off, I think I'm gonna just go to my XP farm, but also get this bad boy with me to the XP farm. So we can get at least tons and tons of random enchanted books we get from the enchantment table itself. So yeah, let's just quickly get over to the XP farm. First make some bookshelves again. Also get some books. And also some lapis. All right, let's set up an enchantment table right here. Time to do some enchanting. All right, I have no more lapis left. And oh boy, that's a bunch of random enchantments. But that's definitely not the way to go. This is hella boring. I think I'm gonna go and stick with void trading. So yeah, let's do that. So I just put all the books I just got into the top floor of the library and called the section random. Getting XP to enchant books with the enchantment table was just a way too boring process. So I went to my raid farm to get two shulkers full with emerald blocks. And to speed up the void trading, I built a few more. Also built my classic villager breeder, put two villagers inside, and once I had enough, I brought them to their stations to start void trading. Always replacing the villagers with new ones once I had a shulker box full with one enchantment. Now this took a couple hours and I tried to get at least all the enchantments I would ever need. Spending most of the time not by replacing the villagers or actually void trading, but trying to get the right enchantments I want from the villagers. So a few hours later and I got all these shulker boxes full with enchantments. So after grabbing all the shulker boxes, I had to sort them back at the project, since you can't see which enchantments are inside the shulker box. And once that was done, the pain began placing all the books into the bookshelves. So let's go. Just like that, I have the world's first fully working Minecraft library, all sorted and labeled. And obviously, always the highest enchantment for every single enchantment. And if you're wondering, here's a list of all the enchantments I put into this library. So now, I never have to worry again if I break any tool, because I can make a new one within seconds. Even though I'm pretty sure I will never need so many enchantments. Oh yeah, and I just added the Zoomify mod, so I have to zoom again and look at how much you can zoom with this. I can literally zoom just to one pixel of a texture. There's just one last thing I want to do. Oh, he did. Oh, I love this zoom. This is just great. Look at that. I want to add symbols coming from the bookshelves into the book and therefore I think I might just use some white stained glass of oh that's probably not enough so let's get a few more there we go this should be enough also get some dirt because this is not going to be quite easy because I always have to build some temporary blocks like that and then use the white stained glass like that remove the temporary blocks to build that I think it's the galactic alphabet font yeah, let's just build a few more. All 
All right, this should definitely be enough. I mean, yeah, that's quite some. Even though it doesn't look that good without shaders, it pretty much does with shaders, since with shaders, the symbols are a little more white and not that transparent. Yeah, I'm absolutely happy with how this turned out. All right, project done, which took way longer than expected. I literally made over 100 replay mode recordings for this video, but I now have the most over-the-top enchantment table with the world's first fully working Minecraft library inside. Still let me know your ideas on what to build on the inside of the bookshelves, but that's it for today's episode. See you in the next one. German potato, over and up. Bye bye.